So if I were going to approach this box in the studio, and I've, I've got a jazz bass here um, with rounds on it, uh, with a variety, you know, it can kind of do a variety of sounds. So if I were going to approach this box right out of the gate, I usually like to play with a neck pickup on a jazz bass. So I might start here, and that's flat. So the volume control on the Noble uh, only affects the quarter inch out. So even even if I'm doing this, you're not hearing it because we're just using the XLR, which is so helpful if you want to make a quick adjustment to your amp live but you don't want front of house to get a big bump or drop or whatever which makes you live think like well oh, i just shouldn't touch it it's so nice live with the noble you can just you can just touch it it's fine um so but in the studio uh if you're just using the xlr then th this knob is it's just for show essentially okay but so if i'm starting out and i'm just playing something and i maybe have a and I think like, well, maybe you're just the character of the bass knob here. I mean, and that's like a nice bump of warmth. I might actually decrease that a little bit. Versus. I mean, that's still super nice and clear, but that little bump, it just makes, it makes you go like, yeah, man. And now, now you think like, well, maybe that's, maybe I'll try a different pickup here. I'll go in between, so that's the two. And I think like, oh, I want a little brighter vibe. Maybe I'll reduce the bass here. I'm gonna push this up, and now I want maybe play with a pick, and I'm gonna play that same groove. And you get more of that grind uh, and just clarity with the treble knob. So now what I'll do, check this out. So let's say like some guys have asked, what's the deal with the low cut switch? So you see the flat setting here and low cut. Why on earth would you put a low cut on, uh, on a base product? Well, um, two, two reasons, I think. First of all, if you're in a, in a room playing live and you, it's a boomy room, uh, or there's some bass frequencies kind of stacked up on stage. What's so nice to do, cut, and then if it cuts too much, you can add back to taste. So here's flat, and if I play just a low E, and now if I cut, you hear it cut, but you still have... I mean, the warmth is still there. There's just that bottom below 150 that gets attenuated, but check this out. I low cut, and I go, mm, that's a little too much, watch. Bring this guy up. Now all of a sudden, you have lows again, but in just a different place, without having to mess with parametric EQs and you know the Q on some graph or something. You you can just do it with a, a switch and a knob. Um, also, say you're going for a little bit more of that like nasal bridge pickup, um, Jaco Pastorius kind of thing, like. If you, you low cut a little bit, maybe bring the lows back up a touch and boost treble, and all of a sudden you have... That kind of like pronounced, mm. almost solo voice. And also guitar players, acoustic guitar players, uh, plugging into this box would love to have that low cut thing. Uh, maybe on studio monitors you think like, oh, there's not too much low end, and then you get on a big PA and you're like, there's absolutely too much low end. So it's great for that. Mm. Um, but where I like to set this guy, just for general, 
is about, I, I love it flat, and then I kind of just do the comfort bump, right? Which is like bonk, bass there, and treble about there. That's where I set it on the amp live. I almost never move it. And for me, that's great for almost everything. So anything I play with my fingers. I feel like it's supportive, but it still has clarity. Or even with a pick, like. Like it still has, I don't know, it has all the, all the sort of toneful qualities that I would want without having to just go like, well, there's options, so I should try to use them. I find myself on an amp that has sliders and buttons and thinking like, well, I'm not getting my money's worth if I don't, <laughs> you know, use this. So, you know, I'm sliding and so I talked to Jack about, you know, doing this with an amp and it's like, I, I want volume and then the two band boost only EQ like that's let's you don't need to do mid range don't need to do gain and master and an effects loop and all that stuff like let's keep it simple and then you're worrying about your hands and your instrument and that's the way it should be <laughs>